All right, so Jesus is our perfect model of how to operate in the supernatural. Yes, he's our perfect model for everything, but with the topic of this course talking about being naturally supernatural, we look to Jesus and we say, okay, how did you operate, Jesus? Because that's how I want to operate. And this is probably one of the biggest points to remember out of the entire course, right here in session two. It is to understand that Jesus became like us so that he could be an example for us to follow. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped. Here it is. But emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant and being made in the likeness of men. Christ put himself under the same restrictions as you and I experience right now. He modeled a life that was fully consecrated to God. All the miracles that he did, he did that out of a place of his humanity, not out of his place as God. Let me, let me explain it to you like this. Um, so we've got a laptop here. A laptop is able to function in a couple of different ways. You can use a laptop plugged in, or after it's been charged, you can use it out and about without having a cord or anything. Jesus had the ability to live on battery power, being God, the entirety of his life. He did not need to be subject to anything he did not need to submit himself to anything. He did not need to be plugged in to a supernatural source because he is God. But he chose to empty himself. He chose to say, you know what, God? I'm going to do this with you, Holy Spirit, and with you, Father. I'm going to choose to do this plugged in. And it's from that place that I think we can have just a ton of hope like, okay, all these crazy things that Jesus did, if, if he were doing that out of his position as God, they would still be really cool. We would still want to glorify him. We would still think that, that what he's doing um, was amazing, follow him, and, and, and just embrace everything that's going on there. But when we begin to understand that we have access to that same power that Christ put himself under the restriction that we have as well, that changes everything. All of a sudden, this isn't just something cool that we can watch. It's something amazing that we can do. We can actually step into this place of following Jesus as our perfect model and basically looking at our situations through his eyes. You know those bracelets, WWJD? Those were a big thing um, I think back in the 90s. What would Jesus do? It's a cute sentiment. It's a, it's a good phrase, you know. I, I get what people are, are, are thinking by, by making the bracelets and everything, but I want to express that as a reality, like a real core reality where you come to a situation and you don't think through your natural way of thinking anymore, but you recognize that the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. The power of God is in you. Jesus, your example, was living under the same restrictions that you were living under. And you have the opportunity to approach your problems and your issues in life through something other than your own strength. You get to access heaven. You get to access the power of God. The same Holy Spirit that lived in Jesus lives in you. The same Holy Spirit. Jesus didn't get a more anointed version of the Holy Spirit, the, the, the Holy Spirit um, times 10. No, Jesus got the same Holy Spirit that has now been given to you. And if you've given your life to God, that now resides inside of you. <sighs> Greater works than these can we do. This verse still boggles my mind and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Uh, John chapter 14 Verses 12 through 14, truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater 
works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Remember, it's about glory here, glorifying God. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. So not only do we have access to do the same works that Christ did, but he says that greater works than these you will do. And although I don't fully understand that concept, he raised the dead. I don't know how it gets much better than that. Um, But one thing that I do recognize uh, from this verse is something that's also spoken of in Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 uh, ends with, since he always lives to make intercession for them. So not only have we been given the Holy Spirit, we've also been given an advocate before the Father. Jesus Christ forever lives to make intercession for you and for me. That's something that he didn't have. He had the Holy Spirit, but he didn't have anybody before the Father interceding on his behalf. We get that with Jesus. Jesus. 